Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. How's it going out there, my friends of the internet? What are we going to do today? Well, we got a package in the mail. You're probably like, what could possibly be in there? Well, I'm going to show you. These are block off plates that are pre cut for spots on the RMAX. And basically, up here it's super open. I don't know how well you can see that. Maybe I'll get the uh, old flashlight. But man, when you're like ripping around in snow and mud and stuff, it all goes flying into here. So, a uh, company, and I'll post all the stuff below, I got them off of eBay, uh, but there's a company that makes block off plates and they were 50 bucks to my door and they're gonna seal up here and they're gonna seal up here and you can see let me you know what let me get the, uh, the light here so you can see how there's snow in there basically these plates are going to cover this spot up too so never installed them before I did see them on one of my RMAX groups and I thought it's a great idea and it's a small company so I like supporting guys like that so let's get these uh, maybe warmed up a little bit and we're gonna install them took maybe a couple days to get them here so this is what we're looking at they're basically pieces of CNC'd cut plastic passenger side so that's nice yeah it looks pretty good quality let me see what the thickness is yeah so it's like a little bit over a little bit over eighth inch let's see what else we got in here looks like we got some push pins some kind of fender washer and a nut of some sort so it looks like some OEM style push pins you get two of those get lit unique off-road products okay get lit I won't be getting lit until these things are installed so all right they um, have you go to this link and I typed the link in twice and it doesn't come up so um, I'm going to have to fly by the seat of my ass here installing these. So it looks like just a couple of uh, 10 mils and then we'll be able to get this up. These are both the same so you don't have to worry about mixing them up. I'm going to pull this hose off that way we can get this bottle out of here without having to worry too much about things. Just gonna use a little pick to get under the hose here. Okay, so we got that off. I'm gonna take this little clamp and move it up here so it stays. All right, now we can get that bottle out of the way a little bit better. Will it stay up here? I don't know. There we go. All right, looking at that piece of CNC cut plastic looks like we're gonna have to take off this 10 mil here and then it should slide up into here and then I think those there's holes up here where those push pins go Let's take off this 10 mil and this one is this one is different than the um, bolts we took off of that reservoir so All right, here's driver's side. There we go. You gotta go way up to the corner to get it in, or else you're not gonna get it in. There, got it. You okay? Yeah. You just have to really pop it in the corner. 
Wow, okay, so that was definitely not easy. You have to get the corner of this way in here and you really got to bend it and use force. And then you can see how it lines up in there. You got to pull this, this corner, you have to pull it towards you and then it will pop into place. And then I passed this cable by the drive shaft. I don't think it's going to matter. Um, let's, uh, let's get that bolt in. So the reservoir bolts are longer. Let's see if we can swap one of the reservoir bolts. Yep, that fits. Like I said, the directions, I, I couldn't find the directions online and, or they probably tell you to use one of the reservoir mounting bolts to put over here. But that works fine. Push pins look good. Um, fits nice and tight. This cable's got plenty of slack here, no problems. Now, All right, so now here. It's time for level two. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to this one. All right, let's see how this one goes here. This one, oh, getting some of the snow out of here. It looks like we got another 10 mil bolt we got to take out. Okay, can you can you see that stud right here? Where my finger is. There's going to be a, a the plastic goes on through this washer nut. I don't know unless you got little guy hands. Man, is not. It's going to be tough to get in there. All right, we're going to remove that 10 mil here. Man, this one's awfully short too. We might have oh. to be swapping oh, bolts okay. again, yeah. Here's the hole that that stud's going to go through. Mm. And then this is mm. where we're going to put our existing bolt in. So. Okay. skinny boy side first. Ah. Okay, so you got to go the skinny end in first. All right, once again, I have to dig into my parts bin. This is a nut with a built-in washer, basically. This is what they should have provided you with the kit because it's extremely difficult to get a washer on there. And I'm going to show you what I did to kind of hold the plastic back. But let me see if I can at least get this started. All right, that started. All right, so let me show you what I did. I took, I took a washer and I was able to jam it down on that plastic piece to hold it. And then I got my... Uh, nut my fender nut or whatever you want to call it and that goes on there good. Yeah, this is like a Friction fit with that washer. So I'm just gonna leave it. It's not gonna go anywhere. It's on there pretty good So I put that on and then I used my pry bar So I used 18 inch pry bar to get in here and you push against the battery box and then you can get that washer on there That's that kind of pinches things in place. Then you use your fender nut to secure that and now Oops, we just need to tighten up our 10 mil here and we'll be done. All right, so just a little recap. You're going to want to take your fender bolts off because they're longer and put them in here to hold your bottle. Again, the ones on the inside up here are actually shorter. You come in at an angle up high to snap that one in, and this stuff's really rigid so you can kind of manhandle it and you'll be okay you kind of go in low and then you really got it let me get the light again low and then you come up high and you really got to bend this and reef it to clear this frame rail and then like i said you use a washer you could put on that post and then you got you're gonna have to get a uh, fender nut to make it right so these are all things that are not included Final thoughts of the product, the quality is really good, the fit is good, like it's tight, it's not all sloppy and stuff, but 
nothing good comes easy usually so at least I think that's how that old adage goes so you're gonna have to get rough with it make sure you wear gloves swap the fender bolts um, out and use those for the overflow bottle the overflow bottle bolts you use those to put in the plastic and then that goes back into the fender it needs to be like a quarter to three-eighths of an inch longer the passenger side you do my trick with the washer to kind of hold it down and use a pry bar to pack everything in there and then you really need to use some kind of fender nut to get onto that stud there's just no way I'm, I maybe you could do it I, I, you'd probably cross thread that nut so just do yourself a favor get a six mil fender nut and make it make it so much easier on yourself well I don't know I, I would say overall I give it eight out of ten still a good thing to have it's gonna keep mud and snow and stuff from getting there so and I'm glad the kid and the dog was uh, able to keep me company here and I appreciate you guys uh, the viewers for checking this video out. We are now at 2,000 subs or a tiny bit over that. So, uh, yeah, yay, yeah, whoa. <laughs> yeah. So. What are you sniffing, my dingy? No, whoa, 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 jump, big jump. No, oh, okay, 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 jump. So, have a great rest of your weekend, and we'll talk to you guys later. See ya. Bye.